Have you guys been hearing all of the media coverage on the Ebola virus, how it started in different places in Africa, but now actually since September 30th, it is in the United States. So I wanted to do this video on how to protect yourself from it. What should you do as a nurse? Uh, it really frightened me because my preceptor who works in Washington DC said that they had a suspected case of Ebola. And I'm like, man, this is really moving around the country. We don't even really know how impactful this could be to us. So what do we do? What is the isolation precaution for a patient who has the Ebola virus or is suspected of having the Ebola virus? What do you think? It is contact precautions. Yes, I was really surprised too when I looked it up, but e the Ebola virus can only be transmitted through blood and body fluids, broken skin, or mucous membranes. So you only should have on a gown and gloves if your patient has it. Why do we see people in like full body garbs, hazmat suits, taking care of these patients? It's so strange and it makes me think sometimes that they're trying to uh, create a, a mass hysteria. Now, saying that, would I think it was wrong if someone chose to put on something more than contact precautions? Probably not um, because you just never know. Like yeah, it's contact precautions but if a nurse went in there with a mask on, would she be wrong? That's completely up to you guys. What does the CDC say you should do if you think you are infected with Ebola virus? There's really not much that anybody is offering anyone with the Ebola virus. They say if you think you come in contact with it, you should just start checking your temperature every day, looking for signs of fever. Because the Ebola virus, you are not um, able to spread it until you start having symptoms. The symptoms are really horrific. Um, you get the fever you get diarrhea really bad, you can start bleeding from, um, from your mouth, from your nose, from your eyes. It is a very painful, very painful condition. Can you imagine that there is no treatment, there is no vaccine at all? The patients essentially have to progress through this disease until it runs its course. All the nurses can do is offer supportive care. All the doctors can do is, um, is, is prescribe IV fluids to maintain the salt water balance. They can prescribe pain medicine. They're going to give the patients Tylenol for their fever. We're going to watch your blood pressure. We're going to give you oxygen. So I think that's one of the reasons why it's such a big deal because we, we don't have anything for it. Be on the lookout. I mean, nurses, we have to be very vigilant. Um, even now so, like there's pestilences in the land and we have to protect ourselves. How do we do that? Treat everyone as if they are infected or they could infect you. Um, it's sad, it's sad that sometimes as a nurse, you realize that your work environment could potentially harm your children. You could bring stuff back home to your family, to your friends, but we must persist, we must provide the care. We made our commitment to our workplace. So congratulations and I give a big pat on the back to all the nurses that are out there on the units working. Don't be afraid of Ebola. I remember contact precautions. Keep watching Remar Review videos. We will get through this. We will be great nurses.